What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my wife Haley and I are full-time YouTubers and resellers. This means we film ourselves going to thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, wherever we can buy stuff super cheap and then flip it online for a profit. In today's video, we're going to show you guys one regular day of eBay sales for us. I think we had like eight or nine things going out. This should give you a pretty good idea of the type of things that we sell to make our profit. We'll also head to a couple thrift stores looking for even more stuff to flip online for profit. And I do want to tell you about a cool new app that we are using to help our business when it comes to listing and cross posting items. So stick around. This will be a good one. So the very first thing we have going out today is this donut Kryptonics skateboard. You guys should recognize this. We picked this up at the Goodwill bins like last week sometime. Sold for $24.88 plus shipping. And I believe this sold to a viewer of the YouTube channel. I think they sent me uh, a message when they sent me the offer in the, in the first place. It's Micah from Richmond, Texas. And I believe they, he bought it for his daughter maybe so uh, shout out Micah and maybe your daughter if I'm remembering that correctly thanks so much for the support next time is over here in the K bin and it is two Build-A-Bear uh, bears <laughs> these are both Star Wars themed Build-A-Bears can you hold that one for me yes and then this one uh, looks very similar I don't know this one has like some sharpie marks on his foot I disclosed that in the listing we paid 50 cents for each of these actually I think this one's 50 cents and that one was a dollar uh, and then a lot of two sold for $18 plus shipping Build-A-Bears have been I don't know usually they're pretty good but lately I haven't had a ton of luck with these I, I think if you have similar ones it may be a good idea to lot them together it may make it uh, you know something faster to sell I've got plenty of Build-A-Bears and all these bins uh, different shapes and sizes and species and they are just not selling for as fast now as they used to <laughs> Next item is right here in the J bin, and it is this Foot Joy golf pullover. Haley actually listed that the other day. If you can open it up so we can see what it looks like. We picked this up, I think, in Greenville, right? At one of the thrift stores in mm -hmm. Greenville. It was probably like four or five bucks. What makes this super special is this Titleist patch on the sleeve right there. Um, this is like a tour issue um, Foot Joy Titleist combo uh, men's sweatshirt. This is actually size small too, uh, which makes it even more surprising that it sold for so much. This actually sold for $60 plus shipping and it was only listed for like two days or so. So definitely a fast sale. Next item's over here in the Z-Bin as a golf club head cover. We're looking for the Cleveland Launcher DST Hybrid 2-Iron Head Cover. Sold for $11.99, free shipping. Uh, I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. It, it's, uh, let's see. Uh, I think this, I think it's, yeah, I think it's that one. So this is obviously used. Got it at the Goodwill bins for probably $0.10 cents or so. And again, it sold for $11.99, free shipping. <laughs> Next time's down here in the V bin, and it's uh, this is a pretty cool item, I think. This is a Shure microphone case. When we went to the Goodwill bins last week, I found this case, and I found a charger, and I was really hoping we could find the actual microphone, because the microphone that this case is for is like a $400 microphone. But unfortunately, uh, all we had were the case and the charger. So I listed the charger separately. I think that already sold for maybe like 15, 16 bucks or so plus shipping. Um, and then we have the case and the manual here that sold uh, for, for $32.99 plus shipping. So be sure to look out for this microphone uh, in the wild if you're a thrift store or something like that. Uh, even empty cases can sell for good money. <laughs> Next time I'm going out is a pair of shoes, which Haley decided to put over here in the hat shelf. Listen, because, we only have three shelves. Yeah, we, only, we really need it. Yeah, it, it's fine. These, what we, you got these at the bins, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was, we've only had these for a couple days. Haley found these digging in a shoe bin and they sold for $31 plus shipping. Pretty interesting patterns, like hieroglyphics or something. Really good condition. Probably paid like two bucks for those. Next item are these men's on cloud running shoes. We got these from Miss Petra, that nice lady at the flea market uh, last week. What would we pay? 15 bucks for those? She gave us a pretty good deal mm -hmm. on those. Um, Haley got them cleaned and listed and they sold for $65 plus shipping. I believe we listed them for $74.99 and then accepted a best offer of $65. So definitely be on the lookout for these on cloud running shoes. <laughs> Next one is in the Y bin over here. It's two 
dough arms. I found a, a big like vintage mixer at Goodwill a couple months ago, and it had the mixer, it had two of these metal bowls like this, had two of these dough arms and two of the regular mixer arms, and I decided to part everything out. I think the whole setup was like eight or nine dollars at Goodwill. We've already sold the other bowl. We've already sold um, we sold these today. These are the dough arm replacements. These sold for $32.99 free shipping. Um, and we still have the other whisk arms that are listed for like 45 bucks. Uh, and then the actual blender itself, which is uh, down there, down there, the sun, Sunbeam, I think. Uh, and that's listed for like 50 bucks or so. So definitely be on the lookout for vintage mixers. Usually it's best to part these out, in my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want, but uh, we've had better luck parting them out than selling them all together in a bundle. <laughs> As I said in the beginning of this video, I want to take a quick second to show you this cool new app slash website that we're using to help our business when it comes to listing and cross-posting items. I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard about this already, but just in case you haven't, it's called Hammock, H-A-M-M-O-Q, and they are, again, a listing and cross-posting online VA service. So this is what their home screen looks like here. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. So once you create an account with Hammock, this is what the listing screen is going to look like. You've got some places to add some photos and some basic information. We usually use Hammock just for clothing and shoes everything else we kind of list ourselves so I'm gonna go ahead and list a pair of shoes with them right now we've got some shoes in our Dropbox right here I'm just gonna control and select all of these shoes here we've got pictures of all sides the bottom and the information tag the information tag is the most important picture because that's how the VA's at hammock are gonna know the information about the shoe and know how to list it appropriately uh, so once all the pictures uh, get loaded it'll be good to go condition is used that's the only really thing I fill out over here the brand it's Saucony it's in the pictures the quantity is one um, I mean you can choose the women department if you want but again most of this information I just leave blank because with shoes all they need is that one picture right there of the information tag uh, you can put notes down here for the VA so if you have like any blemishes on the shoe like hey make sure you note some of that in the in the description uh, one common question I do get asked about hammock is do they actually list the item for you or do they just draft it on eBay uh, and the answer is they just draft it they don't actually make it live for you so once they draft it you will be able to go in and, and double check make sure everything is how you like it so the pictures are uploaded we got used brand is in the pictures we're good to go it says list on eBay click submit bam that that's literally all you do so huge shout out to hammock for being a super solid listing and cross-posting service provider we've been using them for about two to two and a half months in our business not for everything that we list again mainly for shoes and clothing items but we could not be any happier with the service that we have received from them if you guys want to try out hammock for yourself to see if it works for you you can click the link in the description down below and sign up using code tornado and they'll give you some free listings on your account so you can Try them out for free, see if it works, see if it's something you want to continue on in the future. Thanks to Hammock for being awesome and being the sponsor of today's video. Back to it. Heading into the Goodwill here on the way to the post office. Maybe we can find some good stuff. We just came in here yesterday and I think the day before that and maybe the day before that. So the first Goodwill stop of the day, Haley found these two jackets right here. This is a Masmania made in USA like a women's fleece with like moose pattern on it it's got the front and back uh, fleeces are going to be five dollars and 75 cents here so i think this will be a good pickup for that uh, and then this one's also 575 it's a vintage columbia jacket it's made in malaysia not made in usa but we know it's vintage because i found a receipt in the pocket where somebody bought a chicken sandwich and uh on november 20th 1999 <laughs> so it's at least 22 years old or something like that it's got a columbia spell on, on the thing it's got a little bit of dog hair on it but quick wash in the wash machine should take care of most of that the zipper works the zippers on the pockets work uh, two solid finds right here from Haley. second good will stop So this may have been a very good stop. They had just put out all these electronics. We got an HP printer. I think the print head in that one's gonna be pretty good. We got two VCR combo, DVD combo units. Got this old Marantz tape deck. I think that one's gonna be pretty good. Another VCR and another combo unit. So I'm gonna look all this stuff up. I mean, this stuff is super cheap. $13.97, $4.97. I think this was $3.97. This one was $4.97. 
I think I think they're all like four to five bucks a piece except this one. So let's see. I'm gonna go through this, look everything up, and see what I'm gonna keep and see what I'm gonna put back. So I just finished looking at comps on everything. The only two things I put back are the Marantz tape deck. Couldn't find any comps on that. There was one listed for parts only for like 35 bucks, but none sold. And I also put back the Sony uh, DVD CD player. That just it just wasn't worth it. There was one sold comp for like 20 bucks free shipping. But all the other stuff, I'm definitely gonna get all the VCR combo units, the regular VCR and this HP printer. It doesn't have a, a power cord to it, so I can't plug it in to see if it works, but for 14 bucks, I think it's worth it to take a chance on it. If this thing works, I could sell the printer, like the entire printer unit for about 150 bucks. Uh, and if it doesn't work, we can still sell the print head from inside. So I'll take a risk on this. Hey Haley, I found a bunch of stuff. I see that. <laughs> Haley found these two items. This is a Columbia fleece, which I would normally pass on Columbia fleeces, but I thought this is a pretty interesting looking pattern. It's an adult size medium. Um, we'll grab that. And then she also found these uh, Free People jeggings, size 26. I don't know anything about women's clothing, but she's gonna take a chance on those. And then when I was walking over here, I found this t-shirt sitting here. Free Loom made in USA, single stitch Dixie Stampede with the eagle and the moon on the front. And, and the back hip as well. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Single stitch. Dixie. Have you ever been to the Dixie Stampede? I have actually. I have too. <laughs> Pretty cool. I was over there at the stuffed animal section picking out some little things to give Moe's, but I also found some cool ones. This is the, the German caterpillar from A Bug's Life, I think. And we got the rooster from uh, Moana. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. We're going to save those, not give those to Moe's, but all this other stuff is going to Moe's. Um, Haley also found a few more clothing items over here in the men's section. We've got this nice Columbia Golf Extra Large Clemson uh, polo. I thought that was pretty neat. This will be $4.75. We got a nice uh, long sleeve Carhartt button up shirt in mint condition. Fresh dry clean tags on that. This will also be $4.75. Got a Masters Amen Corner, size large, 100% Pima cotton. Uh, polo shirt. Um, it's past master season, but this will still sell. Paid for. We're gonna pay 475 for that. Uh, and then she found this foot toy dry George, which would normally be pretty good, but this one has a personalized embroidery on it from some golf course or something, uh, and it's just short sleeve. So because of the embroidery, we're not gonna get this one, but everything else is a buy. We were over here waiting in the line to check out, and Haley's looking through the T-shirts and found two more vintage single stitch. Uh, well, this one's uh, not not made in USA, made in Mexico, Mexico, but it is still. Uh, single stitch that's pretty cool it says if my dreams could all come true paradise would be in a little i'm in a in a little bungalow somewhere by the sea uh, it's tagged 1993 down there so that's pretty cool and then the other one is just a myrtle beach made in usa pre-shrunk size large single stitch t-shirt all the t-shirts here are going to be a dollar and 50 cents so we'll go ahead and grab both of these so it's been a couple days since that goodwill trip that you guys just saw in the video but i want to be fully transparent about this vcr haul because i was super pumped i mean we were going to make probably like 250 bucks in profit on all five of those VCRs we picked up. But once we got them home and got them fully tested with VHS tapes and DVDs, we realized that three out of the five did not work. Luckily, we can take them back to Goodwill. Goodwill does offer uh, store credit for returns, but that sucks because we were gonna make I don't know, probably like 250 bucks or so in profit from once all five of them sold. But now we're down to like, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks for the two we have left. So like this one just kept eating tapes. We lost two VHS tapes to that one. That one was just like not taking anything like both the tape and the DVD. When you put it in there, it just kept spitting out. So I don't know. It's just, just part of, part of the business. We haven't tested this printer yet because we don't have a cord for it, but I have high hopes for that. Uh, but just full transparency, even though you know, I, I don't want to just, I don't want to show you guys all these hauls that you think are going to be really good and then not show you this part. They're like, hey, more than half of those things didn't work. That's just how it is sometimes, especially with thrift stores. But I also want to show you guys this uh, solution that we found for our shoe shelf. Now, don't get mad at me. Let me explain. This is, uh, we've decided to pre-box all of our shoes going out UPS priority mail. We've used these UPS priority boxes. Um, I know some of you guys, you guys are going to be like, oh, you can't use those for storage. We're not using them for storage. We're pre-boxing shoes. So we have shoes on the shelf whenever the shoes sell. Um, like these are the, the Saucony shoes we just listed using the hammock app. If those sell, I just pull the box off and sh ship it out. We're not, uh, and then we have make a new box and replace it. So we're not using the boxes for non priority mail use. We're just pre-boxing shoes. This has worked so far. We, this is the metal rack that we got like, I don't know, two videos ago or something. And it works perfectly because eat like two of these boxes fit on here, like super snug. So this is 10 shoes here. Then we've got 
I don't know, like 30. We went through two two boxes or two uh, cases of these priority mail boxes. So I think there's 50 up here now. Um, so like three to four rows fit on fit on this shelf right there. This shelf down here, there's not a space, so just one on those. Um, and we can fit more once we get some brackets put under there and under here uh, to get rid of these tubes. Uh, and then this top shelf is going to be super sturdy because it has all these boxes that are holding it up as well as these brackets. So we could probably stack, you know, maybe another four, uh, you know, four high, you know, two or three rows on top of there as well. So this, I think this is going to work. I think this is solution. Again, this is not breaking any laws. You can call your mail carriers if you want. This is totally fine. You can pre-box items as long as you eventually ship them priority mail, which all of our shoes are shipped with priority mail. So what do you guys think? Is this the best solution or do you have another option that would be better? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. I also want to quickly share this with you guys. I'm just so proud of the numbers that we've been able to hit on eBay lately. Since Haley's come on board full time, she's helped out so much in the reselling side of things and honestly the YouTube side of things as well. I mean, YouTube's been going well. On eBay for the 90 day total, we finally hit $24,000, which I think the last time I was over this number before Haley joined me was like a year and a half ago. Like it's been a long time, up to 350 active listings, 639 sold. I mean, Haley has just been listing everything in sight. I, I can't stop her. She's a maniac and it's just been so fun to watch these numbers increase. I will say you should never compare yourself to anybody else when it comes to eBay because for some of you, maybe that's your goal. Maybe you want to get to 24,000 one day and that's awesome. But for other people, $24,000 is nothing there. I mean, Tim Osborne to thrift, he's got like 70,000 90 day total just by himself with no help at all. And you got other people, you know, daily refinement, he sells like 150 things a day with multiple employees. So everything is relative when it comes to eBay. So be careful not to compare yourself to others. Just focus on your own journey, focus on small, improvements every day that can lead to your goals, whatever those may be. But I just want to share that with you guys. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it at all, take a couple seconds and hit that like button for us down below. It's totally free. It really helps us out a ton. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Huge shout out to Hammock for sponsoring today's video. Again, link in the description to sign up. Check it out. Use code TORNADO for some free listings. I think you guys will really enjoy that service. Again, thank you for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.